Hey guys, Jibbles here again. Got another deck profile for you, but this time it's it's not a meta deck. It's probably not anywhere close. Uh, it's just um, bringing back an old, old favorite. It's one of my first videos of Pokemon that I did on my channel. A little uh, Creep Show Gengar deck. Um, I've been waiting for a chance to bring it back, but it's just never. It's never felt like it's had a chance, and e even now, like it probably doesn't. I, you know, I'm well aware of that. But it's one of my favorite decks, um, and it's like socket has got a lot of new stuff to, you know, give it a little extra boost. So it might be, you know, it, 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 it's a fun deck to take to the locals and just you know mess around with. I'm not gonna even try to act like it's a competitive deck or anything like that. So I built it knowing that going in. Um, but yeah, this is my uh, this is my update of the list on Creepso Gengar. My first deck I played when I started Pokemon a few years ago. Um, so this is where we're at now. So I got a 3-1 split of Breakthrough Creepso Gengar and the new uh, Crimson Invasion Gengar. Uh, three Haunters. Four Ghastly. We got two Latios. Two Tapu Coco. And then we got a two. Two split of Malamar Inke. One Clefairy. And two Tapu Leles. So it's a heavy Pokemon count. Uh, this deck, like, it's, it's a lot of pieces that need to be, that need to be working, uh, to get this thing to do what it needs to do. Um, like I said, the 3-1 split on the Gengars, I was doing a 2-2 split, but I found that you really don't need the second one of this one. This one is just a, it's a really good, like, support, but you want to see creep show most of the time. I was, I was finding it. Where I wanted to see Creep Show more often, it's still a like, Creep Show Gengar is still a great, great card. Um, and like just the the ability, the ability Gengar, is, you know, it's, it's really good for what it is. It, it, it helps uh, certain situations, but it's not it's not needed. Uh, it, but it does make like a, it's a really good secondary attacker too. Like, uh, especially against, like, Buzzwall. Like, as you know, 70, uh, 140 to the Buzzwall and Confusion. And it's got resistance, though. It's, it's really good. This deck shines in that matchup, actually. It's very, very entertaining. Um, but no, like, Creepshaw is still just a great attack. If your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, it is knocked out. So it can knock out anything, no matter what the HP. It's really good. Uh, we have, I'm running a three uh, count of Haunter because Haunter's Pain Amplifier attack is is another Tapu Coco spread. So it just keeps building counters on your opponent's Pokemon. It puts two damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So you could Tapu Coco spread and then go into your Haunter uh, if you still need, if you still don't have three on them. Um... And then set up all your opponent's Pokemons for Creep Show. You just need you just need two Coco spreads or a Coco and a Haunter to get uh, everything in range of Creep Show. So if you can just chain Creep Shows, then you're fine. Uh, for the uh, uh, these uh, Gaslies, because you can just put a damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. It, you know, just putting damage counters is, is better than the old uh, flip. You know, poison's fine, but you know the coin flip is guaranteed at least one counter on something. And then we got the uh, two twos of Latios, Coco, just spread damage. Latios sets up two Pokemon right away for Creep Show. Uh, and then Buzzwall is really great because it's sixty and it's sixty to Buzzwall and thirty to somewhere else. So that's like you're you're taking Buzzwall strategy and putting it towards them. Um, Coco to spread the damage. Like it's a, it's a spread deck, but with a bigger payoff because you don't you, like. Um, you just spread until you get creep show. Um, the Malamar, this is the new engine we put in the deck. Uh, the Malamars, essentially, you, you it takes away the wait time 
of getting creep show set up since we don't have dimension valley anymore we haven't had dimension valley in a while uh, you can just manually attach a psychic for turn and then one psychic recharge and creep show ready to go in one turn you no longer waiting and that was one of the big downfalls of the deck i thought about using counter energy in this deck uh but you know it like finding space in this deck was very 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 difficult uh two lele just because lele you can use tapu cure if you found the opportunity and something i'm trying is one clefairy uh, the deck lacks a heavy heavy hitter so with clefairy you can since this deck does run dces for the cocos and the uh Latios, you can just DCE in one uh, Psychic Recharge, and then if your opponent's running like Buzzwall, you can Absorption them. You can uh, Knuckle Impact. You know, you, you get your big you get your big hitter in your case. You just need one big attack to take out their main attacker if it's all they have is set up as one, and then you have Creep Show to finish off everything else. So I'm trying that theory out. Uh, another thing we could do if you felt inclined if you don't have the malamar is just something i'm trying right now like this deck could also benefit from uh trash lamps garbador uh, and just take out these for these two for a two two line of trash lamp um i don't think you really need ability lock in this deck you could run ability lock in in its place because you really don't need this so you could just take you could remove these for a you know, uh, three Trebush, three Garbodor, two Trash Alliance, one Ability Lock, if you were so inclined to. Uh, this is my personal opinion. Uh, but moving on, I spent a lot of time on the Pokemon. Uh, for our supporters, I run four Cynthia, two in, and uh, one Sycamore with one Skyla, three Guzma, and two Bridget. Uh, fairly fairly standard um a notable feature of the deck that i did not touch on is your gingars both of your gingars and tapu coco i have they all they all have free retreat it's a very re free retreat heavy deck um so guzma like you, you don't really get stuck in the active too much uh guzma is very very good about that about his attack uh, creep show something bring up something else guzma something else to damage on it uh just retreat whatever it is pivot pivot in between your creep shows and whatever you need um uh, fairly easily it's not you're not haltered by heavy retreats in this deck uh, so that's that is a major plus for the deck and what it has uh but just you know standard lineup um i've been getting into a, like a rare candy deck running three rare candies one skyla Essentially, if it if it needs to be a rare candy, then the Skylight is a rare candy, and if it needs to be something else, then it's that. Uh, that's just my mindset of the way I've been playing it. Uh, if anything else, I would like to add one more Sycamore at least. I think I'll just be safe with uh, two Sycamores. I don't I don't think it I don't think discarding hurts to stake too much. Uh, for items, uh, four Mystery Treasure, two Ultra Ball, uh, two Timer Ball. Three, three rare candy, two, um, two experience share, and a two field blur. Uh, Myst Mysterious treasure is like the big like plus for this deck. You can get more search to get to your Gengars uh, faster. You get to what you need uh, faster in this deck, and that's just what this that's what Gengar needed was just more speed to get going. If you can just chain creep shows, um, this I went down to two ultra balls because. You still want to run Ultra Ball. You still want to see it. You still want to see your Pokemon, uh, but you, your your uh, discards aren't as, har uh, as harsh. And then two Timer Balls, you could potentially just you know uh, just I'm just, I'm just trying it out. It's I don't I normally don't like coin flips, but you know that uh, it can still it can still games whenever you just if you get two heads and you're just like boom boom. Um, like I said, three rare candies. Um, I'm running experience share because you don't really need tools. Like a choice band would help if you have Latios and uh, Coco, you could do a little bit more damage. Um, I guess Buzzball, you could uh, you could poke Buzzballs for 100. You could two shot Buzzballs for 120 uh, each with Latios while putting 30 on everything else. So it could be potentially good. I'm running experience share just for the fact that uh, just to keep your Gengars uh, charged up and ready to just uh, chain creep show after creep show. Uh, and then, uh, Phil Blores, just to take away, uh, 
Just purely for, I guess, Garbodor to keep your Malamores, your Malamores alive. They're not really necessary in the deck. Um, yeah, they're not. I don't see them as necessary, but um, so they, they could be cut if you like. Again, this is not a competitive deck, so you could play fairly loose with this deck. And finally, our energy count. Our energy count is nothing too special. Just four DCEs for a lot of those Narcocos. And six Psychic Energy. You don't need a lot in this deck. You just need two to attack with Gengars. And you're going to be seeing... You're going to be uh, going through them. Uh, you're going to be seeing them a lot because of your Malamars. Because of your experience shares. You should be cycling through them enough where you don't need more than this. Uh, you should only need one manual attachment and then a uh, Malamar, but you know, uh, but that's, uh, but anyway guys, that is my updated list, it's something I'm trying, just something I'm trying just to have fun because Gengar is my favorite Pokemon, uh, this is the first deck that I played when I started playing Pokemon two years ago, and I've been wanting to get back to it, I've just been waiting for the moment and the right cards, and uh, right now I think it's as good as it's going to get before rotation hits. I would also like to rebuild Rainbow Road before rotation because uh, Rainbow Road is probably one of my f like my next favorite deck besides Gengar uh, that I've played. So I want to get only hit it before rotation hits because I really don't enjoy playing expanded decks. So I I wouldn't as much fun as Rainbow Road would be expanded. I probably would not try it. I I can't really say, but um, but I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit it before. Beef, uh, before rotation hits, uh, so that'll be an incoming video when I just hit the right build. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is just a a good non-meta deck right now when everybody's building Buzzball or Beast Box or Ultra Necrozma, just to throw in a Gengar deck, uh, something something a little different, just a track of fun. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time.